Hi everybody, I'm Steve. Um, most of you know I'm in the health club business. I'm here with Dr. Nario of Biointegrative Health Center. Biointegrative Health Center is in Reno, Nevada. And um, we're kind of talking about some of the treatments they do in our series now. So you can check out Biointegrative online. So welcome, doctor. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Okay, so I want to talk about Plaque X. This is a treatment that I'm getting regularly now. And, you know, I do um, liver cleanses, but Plaque X mm -hmm. is a liver cleanse. So I want to kind of get into that and have you kind of explain it, you know, differences and so on. <clears throat> but let's start off with what is it? What is this treatment? A Plaque X IV. What is it? Well, Steve, yeah, you're right. This is something that uh, we've been doing a lot of here in the clinic. And the best way to explain what is Plaque X is, first, I want everybody to visualize the toll gate when you get into uh, San Francisco, let's say. And I want you to see it all open. And as, as that happens, you can see flow of cars and, and all the vehicles are pretty easy. So no traffic, right? But if some of them are closed, then you would see that there will be log jams because they're now all going to line up in one toll gate. People are getting angry. They're sneaking through the lines, cussing and screaming, honking horns. So that's the reason why we want it all open. We want free entry in and out, no chaos, a very easy system. And that's why well, that's where Plaque X comes into play. I want you to imagine your um your your the 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 image in your head to make it easy to to understand because the heart of the ingredient of plaque x is actually phosphatidylcholine uh and and the thing here is when we talk about phosphatidylcholine these are the um, the cell membranes the cell walls of our cells where toxins go in toxins go out uh, electrolytes and nutrients go in and go out so we have to have an intact uh, pathway and this wall uh, contains all the proteins, the receptors, the channels. And um, as uh, at birth, we have this very intact cell membrane or barrier. Almost 90% of it are, are the phosphatidylcholine component. And we don't only have one uh, layer of toll gate, we have two. So meaning it's a bilayer. So we really have a good checkpoint of everything that goes in and out of our cells. And this also acts as a liquid crystal semiconductor of letting in uh, out substances and signals also, not only the, the toxins and nutrients, but also energy. And the name implies, as we call it, plaque X. So it puts an X on plaques. So in the circulation to improve uh, flow and better oxygen and blood supply to the brain, heart, lungs, and liver, and also other organs. And from the sound of it, it's uh, also revitalizing organs, thus a good anti-aging therapy. Wow, yeah, it's a good one. So um, can you maybe give us a little history of this? I know that you haven't been doing this treatment in your clinic for a super duper long time. I know you've been doing it for months mm -hmm. and I've been doing it for months, but what's the history of this treatment and how long have you been doing it? Well, for the, the history of, of Plaque X really goes way back. I mean, it's even more than 20, 30 years. Uh, it's actually first being used, Steve, uh, in Europe. And the, the doctor who started it all is Dr. Baxis. And Dr. Baxis actually, her, her family, she's a doctor, their families, a uh, family of doctors who actually started uh, the, the research on, on Plaque X or phosphatidylcholine. And as it was now passed on to us anti-aging or integrated practitioners, we have now integrated it into our own anti-aging protocols. So for 30 years, our clinic has been running. And when I came in almost like six years ago, they already had Plaque X, but not named as Plaque X yet. So Plaque, Plaque X has evolved to its formulary now. And it probably, it also started as what we call the liver cleanse or phosphatidylcholine. And later on, I'll expound on the difference of both. But basically, we have been using that um, component, but not naming it as Plaque X already. 
And again, uh, the key here is experience and training. And various dosing also uh, needs to be aware, uh, needs to be knowledgeable by, by the one who administers it. And also needs to know the indications, the delicacy of the solution, and what can be mixed with, and understanding who are eligible and non-eligible. And most important, the side effects that the patient needs to understand. So if infused, for example, if too fast can cause vein inflammation, it can drop the blood pressure, and rarely some hypersensitivity reactions. Uh, knowing where the source is very important, where you got it from. Uh, the quality assurance is what you need to know because you don't want to get it from any hole in the wall in the internet shop. But it all boils down to the experience and competent providers and staff that will give it to you. Okay, so um, I've gotten a lot of liver cleanses and I started with the lower dose with the plaque X, but is the plaque X, is that basically the same liver cleanse that I was getting before, just with something else added to it? Can you talk to me about the difference? Is, is the plaque X the same liver cleanse with more, or is it something different that just cleanses the liver? All right. Uh, good question, Steve. So now this is where we kind of draw the line on which is which. Uh, plaque X actually is composed of the purest form of phosphatidylcholine, which is almost 90% phosphatidylcholine. The liver cleanse or the uh, plain phosphatidylcholine has a lower purity of percent. And it varies in uh, what pharmacy you chose to, to get it from. And it's specially made, which is Plaquex, and is being used in most, as I mentioned to you, in Europe, uh, mostly by physicians there, uh, to treat different indications, which I will discuss also later on. And more studies actually uh, had been related to plaque X in relation to cardiovascular benefits versus the plain liver cleanse. Uh, cardiovascular benefits such as lowers the total serum, total cholesterol, lowers the bad cholesterol, increases the good cholesterol, uh, lowers triglycerides, increases glutathione levels, even lowers down the platelet stickiness, thus better blood flow. It also has less inflammation and uh, free, less free radicals. And it also increases the membrane fluidity of immune cells, making them slippery or maybe a little sexier to go through the crevices and cracks to fight and uh, go towards that infection faster. Okay, so uh, that answers my question. I, I appreciate it because I've been meaning to ask you that specifically. Mm -hmm. So I think I got my answer, and it's basically, it's the same liver cleanse, but a more intense dosage. But you basically have the same ingredients, at least one of the same ingredients in both. Is that right? Well, with the, with the ingredients, Plaque X is actually, um, if you think about it, it's a trade name, meaning it's a patented name uh, in relation to phosphatidylcholine. Uh, when you talk about plaque X, there are other components to it. Right. Uh, again, it's proprietary uh, that uh, is made by the by the company, but I know there are added vitamins in there uh, that are not present in phosphatidylcholine to make it way more effective towards the cardiovascular benefits. Right. Okay. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thanks for clarifying that. So, yeah. um, what other? Because I know you can't just go in and just do mix and match any types of treatments. So I sometimes will do the plaque X with chelation, which is, is, is that really the only combination you recommend or what other things can you combine with this, if anything? Uh, Steve, the, yeah, the synergistic effects is almost seen in any IV that plaque X is done with. Yeah, imagine, here's what I want people to imagine. Imagine you open up all of the gates going inside and out the cell. And now as you do that with Plaque X, uh, IV vitamins and nutrients uh, which are actually deficient in cells can now go in freely to regenerate the, the lack of supply that they have. Now as they go in, that's the benefit, but as we open the gates, uh, things can go out as well, such as toxins, so that's why detoxification is one of the things that uh, Plaque X is, that does really well with also with our detox IVs. 
because it opens the gates to let out uh, not only the, the the bad things, but also the things that are not needed by the cell. And again, when you mentioned about chelation therapy, this is the the bread and butter of of plant uh, It it becomes its maximum uh, when it's combined with uh, actual um, chelation therapy that also helps with the cardiovascular system. For when you remove heavy metals out from the cell, uh, and also again improves the the circulation of the body because heavy metals actually can clog up the the arteries along with calcium and chelation therapy removes that it's almost like whipped cream but it's organic and gluten-free which you can use on almost any on anything and it will still taste good hmm wow so that's uh it just, you know how this stuff interests me. So um, what kind of, now I know we're not making any promises or anything or any guarantees, but I've talked to some people in the clinic that have gotten this treatment. I'm not gonna name names or, I, I'll just say I said, wow, <laughs> you know. So can you talk about maybe some positive results or testimonies that people have told you about or, is there anything that you can share without, you know, going over the line on doctor stuff? Yeah, Steve. So I, I've um, I've really seen the um, the power of plaque X uh, in relation to um, uh, my cardiovascular patients, and that's why the good results are more uh, more of on this population. But I've seen um, uh, total cholesterol, especially the bad cholesterol go down well, along with triglycerides. And even with uh, people who, you know, I don't know if you heard of the word angina. These are like on and off pains of the, uh, because of the blood vessels in the heart kind of spasming. Uh, that also lower down in terms of uh, the discomfort that they, they experience. Circulation, uh, I've seen black, blue hands and feet uh, just turn around. Um, carotid uh, blockages on your neck that was monitored by imaging uh, that actually uh, decreased and lessened. And again, uh, the term of unclogging arteries uh, can be, I guess, used and considered because of it being a natural draino or the clogger. And again, another one would be fatty liver. So it helps re uh, release uh, most of that fat and get eliminated to get that liver running again. Brain function, as we all know, the brain is like built, made of fat, and phosphatidylcholine is a fat type of tissue which actually gets attracted to fat to fat matter. And stomach protection, I have patients who had heartburn, bad heartburn, and sometimes they even get a bad um, uh, ulcer from using uh, ibuprofen or NSAIDs, uh, skin issues that uh, like psoriasis that were flaring up so bad. Uh, again, in general, as uh, as we call it, anti-aging, as I mentioned uh, from my from your first question, that our skin uh, always benefits from uh, cell membranes that are getting revolt, and all, of course, pancreas and kidney functions that you see it through uh, blood testing results, and in general, anti very good antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and also the immune system that gets improved. But in general, it heals all cell membranes that are damaged. Hmm. Okay, so um, I think this is my last question, but I always think of more, you know, but so let's say someone has um, a cholesterol panel, a blood panel that's off with their HDLs, their LDLs, triglycerides, and let's say it's off pretty bad. So do you have a standard protocol? I know everyone's different and it's probably not exactly the same, but do you have like a general protocol for someone who comes in and they, they need to, you know, improve their cholesterol or whatever it is, blood pressure? I mean, do you say, I want you to do six weeks of this, you know, once a week or what do you do? What's a general protocol for this, for someone with issues like that? Well, see, <clears throat> again, the, the power of plaque X, I've seen it, but I cannot overemphasize <clears throat> to my patient that lifestyle, 
uh, stress management, dietary management still has to be there. But let, let's talk about plaque acts in general. Uh, the minimum amount of treatments for vascular diseases, again, this is according to studies in our experience, 20 treatments is, is a good standout um, protocol. Other indications other than cardiovascular can have less treatments require, uh, in terms of requirements. Uh, maintenance therapies, of course, uh, in order to keep the patient's condition stabilized, it's recommended that they have infusions to one or two infusions every month. Uh, again, another key to uh, plaque X maintenance is an oral form. That's why we have oral plaque X also that goes along, especially for these maintenance uh, patients that we have. And for our experience, and also as backed up by studies, um, for one, for the study, this is really astounding to me. Even our little furry friends who got plaque X benefited from it. Uh, they, the study was all about having a calcified aorta. That's your main uh, blood vessel in the body. And after two months uh, of uh, plaque X administration, this calcified whitish aorta turned back into this red vascular uh, blood vessel again. But on our end, uh, on a six-week treatment, I've seen uh, cholesterols go down, even, as I mentioned to you, the anginal pains attacks, like uh, the frequency went down, and even the consumption of the nitro uh, glycerine that these patients take to open up their blood vessels to inc increase the blood flow again. At six weeks, I've seen a, a good response to that. And for uh, uh, triglycerides, it's a little harder, to longer to treat. So IV therapy of three months. So um, again, dependent on how often the patient comes in. Uh, another example is uh, when people can't walk for a farther uh, distance uh, because of a cardiovascular condition with a combination of IV and oral. Uh, I've seen six weeks improvement with those type of cases. Again, all examples, as I mentioned to you, are cardiovascular. And the good thing about that is all these same cases that I just mentioned are backed up by medical studies. Wow, absolutely amazing treatment. Um, so are you saying a, a couple times a month for maintenance for someone who's got a kind of serious condition or? Mm -hmm. I see for the, for the ones who has like serious condition, for example, somebody who actually has a blockage uh, in, the, um, in the coronaries or the heart vessels, a once a week for at least uh, one to two months, uh, we want to suggest that. And then again, we'll observe and get blood testing uh, after which. But again, that's a good standard uh, intensive protocol for somebody who really needs aggressive um, therapy. Well, wow. okay. And, and what about someone who's just in there for general health? Once a quarter, is that good? Yeah, so the, the maintenance, uh, as I mentioned, um, can be uh, considered at like one to two infusions every month. So they can spread it out. It's probably better to do it at the beginning of the end or farther away from each other, just to get the, the blood levels uh, almost like bridged up from the beginning to the end of the month. Okay, well, that's an amazing treatment. It's called Plaque X. Uh, you can find out about it um, at Biointegrative Health Center. That's Dr. Nario, Biointegrative Health Center is in Reno, Nevada. So thanks for this information, doctor. Thank you, Steve. And if, um, as we all know, that knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you with edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge.